just yeah, it's almost dark now just very little light left hopefully that might bring the fish on it was oh getting bites set oh yeah that was a nice bite I was just chatting with a lad who was coming off the pier just before and he'd said he had um, four coolies and a codlin as well on cart and squid. So there is fish there and I've just had the bites there so looking good. So I've just brought the hand line in and I've caught a fish on it. <laughs> it's just only been in for, what, 10 minutes? Caught a rock then. So, I saved the blank already. A little snotty. I get that unhooked and I'll just get another bait off the side again. So, there we go. There he is, little slimy thing. Let's chuck him in there. Bait right back. that out because it's still got a bit of meat in it. I'll just see what we can get over the side. Yeah, bite set. Yeah. Yeah, someone's playing with it. What I'll do is if um, I'm struggling to hook the fish with them big baits. I'm just getting a little bite to my downsize the baits. Oh, that was a better. That was a better bite, wasn't it? Spoke too soon. Fish on. Yes, fish on. Feels all right as well. This. Oh, this is a kind of fish. This. Could be the best fish of the day. What we got? What we got? Mind you, I've got to get it up over the side of the pier yet as well. Come on. Oh, exciting, exciting, exciting. What we got? Let it be a cod. Where are you? Oh, yes. Pardon? Get in! Get in! Wow, what a fish! Now that's how you do it! Look at that! Oh, what a fish! That could potentially be my best codlin ever. So my biggest was I think it was two pound, 2.86 pounds, I think it was. That's a nice fish. Right, let me get the, the hook out. Let's get that hook out and we'll get it weird. Ah, it's just quite far down. I might, oh, wow, <gasps> no way. No way, that fish isn't even hooked. I've got hair in my mouth. This is, the fish isn't even hooked, watch. It's actually that, that's hooked. How mad is that? No way, I can't believe that. Let's see what size he is. So, the size of him, I can get my lie straight. As he's, he's on the tip there, 46 centimetres. Excellent. Nice, two and a half pound. That's how to fish. There you go, just to show you, that's, that's that. That was literally hooked in there like that. So it must have took that as the bait. It's a little, um, what is it? That's a little rockland. So thank you very much to that little Robin.
I should keep it for beer, shouldn't I? Ah, I might have actually. I'll keep it to the side. Right, so I'm just beating back up with another cart, squid, heron, and razor, all bound into one bait. Um, I made them up in the, in the house a couple of days ago. Much easier than doing it out here. And much safer as well when you're, you're nighttime fishing if your baits are already wrapped up. As I'll show you it. Baits are from Alreet Rigs and Baits. Cheers, Mark. Good stuff. So there we go. Nice big bait. That's like what? Four or five inches long, something like that. We'll get that back out. So there's a hook on the bottom as well, four row on the bottom, and then there's a, a two row circle through the top. So that's twice. There's a chance of hooking into the fish. Look for them. Right, here we go. Whoa, nice big splash off that bait. So another one of them would be fantastic. Right, so I think what I'll do is, the next bait, I'll put the rocklin on that I just took out of that fish. And I'll put the rocklin and a, a razor clam on as well, just to bulk up the bait a bit. But it makes sense, if that's what the fish are feeding on, how could they resist? Cup of tea, double sausage roll, yum yum. Right, so just a little something to show you is what I've started doing for me rigs and stuff. Like I've got a rig wallet. When I put them in, what I do is I just use the, like the inside of a toilet roll. And then I just use that to wrap the line around. And if you put the hooks and stuff inside of it, it keeps them kind of like safe. So you can just like wrap it up like that and then put it into the, the rig wallet. Little free idea works quite well right get this one in get it swapped over it's fairly clean clean ground when you're fishing off the pier there's not much to get snagged in so the chances are you'll get your, your gear back pretty much every time so that's the bait it's a bit i'm putting on so that is that rockland so that's the rockland I came out of that cod and then I've got a razor clam on there as well. Hook at the top and hook at the bottom. So I'm just going to clip this down just to get a bit of a, a better cast with it. So I'm just using the Gemini splashdowns. So I'm just going to chuck it the same place really. Just keep it out in front of us. You get a good cast here because you can drop your, your line off the other side of the pier and then just bring it up and over. That should do it. My fingers are a little bit cold and my toes as well. But apart from that, I'm all right. The many layers seem to be working quite well. But that bait's been out for about 20 minutes and I haven't had any interest in it. It's 25 past six, so it's an hour after high water. Oh, lush, nice bit of coffee. Oh, that's nice. Oh. Nice big bait. Hopefully for a big fish. I'm going to put this one straight out in front of us this time. So I've just 
So I've just brought the, um, the hand line in and I've got another rockland on it. <laughs> Quite a big one, this one. Oh, yeah. So that's been, I don't know how long it's been on for, but yeah, just off the side again. But that was just underneath the pier. So there must be loads of them underneath the pier, just mulling around. That's probably the biggest rockland I've ever caught at. Quite a size. <laughs> so that's two, two rocklin on the hand line, the codlin, and the, you can't really see I caught the little one because that was inside the fish. But yeah, all right, not too bad. Not a bad night out. Right, look at that bait, man. What fish wouldn't want that? That perfect Sunday dinner for a fish. Sploosh. Catch that line, otherwise the wind's just gonna blow it and keep on taking it. I still haven't respooled my reel yet, but it'll be getting done this weekend. I've been out for four and a half hours and it's, it's, yeah, it's getting a bit cold now. It's much colder than it was. Um, they've, I think they're packing up as well and they're heading off. So I'm gonna do the same. I hope you've enjoyed the session. It's been all right. I had a fish, so that's, that's a good thing. I uh, had a couple of rock in as well. I'm just checking that rod. But yeah, I'm gonna call it a day. My stuff's all packed. I'll get this in and I'll leg it down the pier, back to the car get myself back home and have a nice lasagna and warm myself up. So I hope you've enjoyed. Um, stay safe out there. Tight lines. Cheers. It's starting to snow. I think you see it falling down there. First snow of the year. <laughs>